I use statins in my practice. Statins can have a blessing and they can have a curse. Let me talk about the light side of statins first. First of all, statin drugs can do a lot of good things. They're actually antioxidants, believe it or not. They reduce inflammation and they have these remarkable, what we call pleiotrophic effects. Not only do they, are these pleiotropic effects anti-inflammatory, but they can change the shape of red blood cells as they're going through the spleen. We call that blood rheology. And they can make the blood less viscous. That means it can make your blood thinner. And what we really want thin blood. It's thick blood that is not good for the heart. So, statins have another effect, and it's this. In high-risk men, especially smoking men, it showed protection in one clinical study. A lot of these men had low HDL. This is a serious risk factor in men because we know that in men with low HDL, their blood tends to thicken. And we know statins thin the blood. So in a male with a previous history of a heart attack, a stent, a bypass, an angioplasty, and especially if that male has a low HDL, I would be the first to use a statin. Even though I'm an integrative cardiologist, that would be my first choice. So middle-aged men between the ages of 40 and 70 with a previous history of those cardiac problems, sure, I would choose a low-dose statin and I would chase it down with at least a couple hundred milligrams of coenzyme Q10 because remember, statins deplete coenzyme Q10. What about other segments of the population? Would I use statins in women? For the most part, no. I've seen very little utility in women, so for most women, I don't choose a statin. Do I use statins in children? Well, maybe one in a million, folks. So statins can have a light side, particularly in middle-aged men with a previous coronary problem. But statins have a dark side. I call it the curse. First of all, the benefits are widely exaggerated. And it's not necessary to reduce cholesterol numbers. We need to treat patients, not just cholesterol numbers. You know, one of the most common consults I saw in my office was a woman in her 30s. She comes in because she has a high cholesterol and the doctor treats her with a statin. And guess what? She's having side effects. And she comes in and she says, do I have to take this because my cholesterol numbers are so-and-so? And I look at her and I say, absolutely not. Then she bursts into tears and she hugs me. Statins have a horrific dark side. They cause an enormous amount of symptoms. And let me just give you a few. Weakness, muscle pain, we call it myalgia. Stiffness, fatigue. I've had patients tell me, doctor, I'm getting older. I can't get out of a chair. I can't play doubles tennis like I could, you know, even six months ago. I say, are you taking a statin? They go, yes. I would say, look, you're not getting older. It's the side effects of statins. Statins cause cognitive problems. They cause erectile dysfunction in men. I've seen it in my office. The side effects are so grossly underreported that there are hundreds of thousands of people out there who think they're ill and have some sort of problem, and yet it's statin toxicity. Why do we get statin toxicity? First of all, statins deplete vital nutrients, especially coenzyme Q10. Statins also are mitochondrial toxins. In other words, they can directly be toxic to the mitochondria in a spirit of depleting coenzyme Q10 at the same time. So in a way, statins can accelerate aging. That's why I do not like to use them in men over the age of 70. There is data to show they can get cognitive impairment. So in the older folks, I don't like to use statins, regardless of their heart health. And look, again, I don't treat high cholesterol numbers. But if I had a middle-aged male with a low cholesterol, I'm still going to give him a statin if he had all those cardiac concerns I said previously. 
What's the takeaway? Look, statins can have a bright side and a dark side. The bright side first, they can thin the blood, they act as antioxidants, they're anti-inflammatories. I love them in middle-aged men with coronary disease, and they do good things. They have a bad side. They come with a lot of excess baggage, horrific side effects, musculoskeletal problems, cognitive problems, GI, the list goes on and on. Should you take a statin if you have high cholesterol and you're healthy? I wouldn't. If you're a male with coronary disease, I would give you a statin regardless of your cholesterol because of its pleiotropic effects. So in a final analysis, if you go to your doctor and he or she wants to put you on a statin, you ask why. 